Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. The onboard crew is expanded to six, with three veteran space flyers joining Expedition 43 already in progress. NASA's Scott Kelly and cosmonauts Mikhail Kornienko and Gennady Padalka lifted off from Kazakhstan on March 27th to arrive at the station just six hours later. The trio spent this week refamiliarizing themselves with life on board, with Kelly and Kornienko settling in for an entire year in space. It's uh, going to be a lot of work, but uh, I really look forward to the uh, privilege of uh, you know serving NASA and our nation uh, as a crew member aboard this uh, really wonderful space station we have. This week in Station Science, astronaut Samantha Chris Ferretti prepared a European experiment that's taking a closer look at our immune systems. In space, some parts of the immune system are weakened, which can lead to infections, while others go into overdrive, which can lead to allergic reactions. To help find out why, the Triple Lux B experiment takes immune cells from sea mussels and gives them an antigen to fight off, so scientists can observe as the cells battle them into submission. This research will help us better prepare for longer duration missions when crews are more susceptible to getting sick, and it will help those down here on the ground with weakened immune systems. This week's question comes from Austin, who wants to know if technology has made deployments on the station more enjoyable. Well, some exciting new additions like a roll-up projector screen and LED lighting are headed up in the next year, and some tech is already making life a lot more pleasant on board the station. Capabilities you and I enjoy, like high-speed data, let crews watch their favorite sports and TV shows during downtime and exercise sessions. Crew members also use tablets in their daily work and to keep in touch with their families, with astronaut Mike Hopkins even getting to watch his son's hockey game while living in space. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.